Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make some cornmeal porridge. So if you want to see how I do this, keep watching. As you guys know, these ingredients will be listed in the description box in the order in which they appear. It's a very simple and easy thing to make. So let's get started. I did one cup of cornmeal right here and then I started to add in the seasoning so I did some nutmeg, some cinnamon and then I did a little bit of salt and then I add some water, this is one cup of water and some vanilla extract and then we mix it all together. So in the description box, you'll see some measurements, but you know, your girl is not doing measurements in this video. You know, we go by eye. But if you want some specific measurements for these ingredients, look in the description box down below, okay? Okay, so the next thing I did was add two cups of milk with two cups of water. And then I let it boil on the stove until it was looking like this. And then I turned the heat down so that I can then add in the cornmeal mixture. And the reason why you wanna do this is because if you put it in boiling water, It'll cook very fast and then there will be lumps in your cornmeal. And you don't want lumps in your cornmeal. You want it to be a smooth consistency, okay? So I pretty much just do some light mixing around. And as you can see, it starts to cook pretty quickly. So that's why you want the heat to be on low. I like to add a lot of condensed milk just because I love the taste of it. You don't have to add too much. You can do like maybe half of the can or like a half a cup um, or you could do more if you don't want to use sugar, but I like to have a lot of condensed milk in my porridge. Lastly, you can add in just a little bit of sugar to taste, but the condensed milk really makes it, you know, have that nice sweetness to it already. But just give that a little stir and then it should be done within like three or four minutes. And this is pretty much the nice creamy consistency it gets to. I topped it off with a little bit of nutmeg, but that's pretty much it. It's a very simple recipe, guys. So let me know how you like it in the comments down below. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.